Okay, so the too long didn't read is you go into your settings and you have to disable zero RPM. But every time you boot up your PC, you're going to have to re-enable then re disable zero RPM just to get the fans to start spinning. Or you can also set it to advance so you can set the individual temperatures to which the fan turns on it. But again, there's something wrong with, at least in AMD 20.2.2, that you've got to do this every single time you boot up your PC just to get the fan on your graphics card to work which is not really good so I have an RX 480 in my gaming PC and then for my recording one I've got an RX 570 now ironically the RX 480 the fan just runs now I've got an armor edition of the RX 570 and it's very open so, you know, you think, hey, that's brilliant, it's going to be way cooler. And I always keep the sides of my PCs open because, you know, it's just it's hot in there. And, you know, I don't think that has anything to do with it failing because it will still get so hot that it will overheat. And I'm saying not only is it not activating at 40 degrees C42 where it's set to activate, it won't even activate at 50. It won't even activate at 60. And you'll smell the burning of the graphics card. And the fan still won't be even activating at 80. And then your computer will just blue screen and crash because the graphics card has got so hot that it can't actually physically run. And this is a problem. So I thought maybe my power supply was the issue, so, you know, I got the same power supply that I put in the RX480 to, to make sure that it's got way more than enough power. It's 850 watts. It's plenty of power to be running this, and it's not a power supply issue. It's the fact that the fan just never turns on. So, you know, I used to think maybe it's because it's not getting enough power, and maybe it's meant to be kicking in the fan and you know that that's probably why it's not working but it's not it's the fact that there's something wrong because radian in their infinite wisdom is like oh yeah it's perfectly fine for it not to turn on because it'll only turn on when it needs to turn on but it needs to turn on and it's meant to be turning on <laughs> and you know it's getting so hot that it definitely needs to turn on and the fan will not run at all and so you know you will have to do this setting so you go into your system obviously older versions of the Radeon software have different things so I updated to the latest version this is the latest version at time of recording the video and it's even in the the notes where it's like improved fan control and still it will not ever turn on unless you turn off zero RPM. Now zero RPM is meant to be that it won't run unless it really really needs to run. But in actual fact it just means zero RPM forever. No matter how hot your, your graphics card get the fan will never turn on and it will get super hot and spicy and the side of it will, will overheat and you'll smell it burning like burning electronics that has a very unique and distinct smell and still the fan will not turn on and you'll go yeah no it should definitely be kicking in by now and then your PC will crash <laughs> so it's a problem and it's a huge problem and I'd be fine if you could just enable you know zero RPM to be disabled and it will remember that I mean it will remember that you've disabled it but when you boot up, it will still not turn on unless you re-enable 0 RPM and then re-disable it just to get the fan to turn on, which is utterly stupid. And if you try the advanced thing with the temperature controls, you can't ever set that to start at zero and then, you know, kick in at a certain point. But even then, you know, at its lowest setting, it's, you know supposed to be on at all times and then you know you'll set your temperatures so even if you set it low so it starts kicking in higher at 30 degrees or 35 degrees or something like that the fan will never ever turn on unless you enable it and re-disable it because you know you need to enable the RPM and re-disable it 
just to get it to turn. Even with the advanced settings, you need to do that stupid thing with the zero RPM just to get it to work. And you know, I've I tweeted AMD several days ago about this. <laughs> I've tweeted them again today, and they've since put a update, which is like you know, help and support. And forty-two percent of people have a checked at least at the time of me filling in the survey that there's a problem with the fans 42 percent of people have checked that there's a problem with the fans i've searched the internet there's there's a lot of people that are saying there's problems with the fans not turning on and the, their pc crashing because of it so it's an issue that they really really need to solve and you'd think they would have solved in current updates but you know maybe this will be enough for them to to put a new update for drivers that will make sure that the fan just turns on and at the very least if you disable zero RPM it will stay disabled forever and you know you can boot up your PC and it'll just be like yeah no your fan's working fine now you don't need to to keep re-disabling it and re-enabling it every time you boot up your PC just to not get it to crash from the graphics card overheating you know, it, it's not too much to ask, really, is it? And this is my recording PC, so it's not even doing the gaming. This is the one that is just recording the gaming coming through it. So it's it's really not doing a lot of graphical heavy lifting. And, you know, it's it's still getting superheated from, from all of this and really does need the fan to kick in. So, you know, it, it would be not too much to expect for your for your fan on your graphics card to actually turn on or for you to, to just enable it to to stay on forever but yeah if you've got this problem that's all you gotta do every time you boot up your pc you gotta go in and re-enable and re-disable the zero rpm if you're lucky enough to get it to not have to do that every time you boot up your pc then you are a lucky mofo but yeah <laughs> and i got this for 112 quid pretty much new well, it was new, but, you know, it was pretty freshly new as well. So, you know, it wasn't the top end, but it was pretty good. So much so that it still came with two free games in the deals, you know. Um, these were expensive games, so, you know, they were brand new out. So, essentially, it was like the graphics card was 50 quid with, you know, paying for, for some games as well, at full retail price. So, you know, that's why I got it. It's a really good graphics card to help, you know mitigates the the processing of recording videos and you know to make it all work out better but it's been a nightmare it's been causing so much crashes yeah so you know maybe maybe the recording is smoother but when it now crashes your pc because the thing never turns its fan on i've lost so many recordings because of that and i can imagine if you're actually putting it in your gaming pc then it's even more of a problem that it crashes like that all the time you know that that's got to be a huge pain and since i've been manually turning on and off the fan every time you know it's pretty much got rid of the problem but i just wanted to just stay off you know by off i mean the setting not the fan i want the fan to turn on and stay on <laughs> but you know i want the setting that stops the fan working to stay off so that my fan would just work and my graphics card would overheat and burn out and you know maybe that's the way to just force you to buy a new graphics card because it's like it's burning out you know buy a new one it's like no i you know i haven't you know really used this enough for it to to be doing this it's been brand new it was brand new and it's been causing problems you know and it's just like especially in the hot summer it really really needs you know through winter when it was pretty freezing cold it was fine but now that it's hot it really needs its fan to work and without that it's just causing the pc to crash over and over again and it's a humongous problem and a lot of people might not realize what is causing the problem but yeah it's because the graphics card fan doesn't turn on even though it tells you no it's fine it, it'll turn on when it needs it no it doesn't ever ever no matter how hot it gets it will never ever turn the fan on and it's utterly stupid so you know just because of that other than that it's a great fantastic value eight gigabyte graphics cards that really does the job you know it's cheap and brilliant and good for vr if you use that and all of that Otherwise, I'd maybe say get the RX 480 because that one, the fans work. 
and that's also naked about graphics cards, and you know, it maybe doesn't have as many of the the more recent things that this one can do, but you know, it's they're both good, but one the fan doesn't turn on and crashes your PC, and the other one just works. So what would I recommend? I'd say get the RX for eighty, it'll be cheaper and <laughs> not cause you a headache. But if they fix this in an update so that the fans just turn on to the drivers, then definitely get the 580. 570. Maybe there's a 580 now, and maybe the 580 just works, who knows. But, you know, don't get one that has zero RPM, because zero RPM is trash and annoying and breaks. It just causes your PC to crash. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, join us again next time for something else. Thanks for watching. Goodbye!